OK, so let's go over how to do graphing a system of inequalities. And ladies and gentlemen, basically what we're going to be doing is when we're solving a system of inequalities by graphing, basically all we're doing is graphing each of them separately. All right. So there's two different ways you guys can do this. The first way, um, both of these you understand are in standard form. And we like it when we have an equation that's in slope-intercept form. Because hopefully, if you guys, when you guys remember graphing, graphing something in slope-intercept form is fairly basic, right? Identify the slope, identify the y-intercept, and you go ahead and graph it. So basically, that's what we're going to do. I am going to solve for y. So to solve for y, I need to get rid of my x on the left-hand side. So I'll subtract x. Then I have 3y is equal to negative x plus 6. Everybody follows me. I'm solving, put in slope intercept form. Divide by 3. y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. Notice how I divided the 3 into both of those terms. Everybody cool with that? OK, so now we go ahead and graph this. So I have here, again, is my y intercept, which remember y intercept is a coordinate point, which is 0, comma 2. And then my slope is negative 1 third. Please remember, guys, when you have a negative slope, that can be negative 1 over 3 which could be equal to 1 over negative 3. But it does not equal negative 1 over negative 3. Okay, Do not make that mistake. A lot of students make the mistake. Well, this is still negative. That's negative 1 third. That's negative 1 third. Negative divided by negative makes it positive 1 third. So you can only have the negative in the numerator denominator when you're calculating slope. And remember, slope, a lot of times, you know, we think about it as rise over run. right? The change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates. So to graph this, I go to my y-intercept, which is at 0, 2, 1, 2. Now I use the slope. And again, I could say the change in the y-coordinates is negative 1, or I could say the change in the y-coordinates is positive 1, as long as the other one's negative. So let's just follow this one. The change in the y-coordinates is negative 1, so I go down. And then the change in the x-coordinates is positive 3, 1, 2, 3. So I go down 1 over 3, negative 1, positive 3. Everybody see my slope triangle? Then I connect. All right, now the next one is I need to go ahead and graph this equation. And when graphing this equation, there's a couple ways you guys do. You guys could use slope-intercept form. You could also use inter, um, the intercept form. If you guys remember to find the intercept form, you plug 0 in for y to find the x-intercept. So if I put 0 in for y, if I put 0 in for, I'm sorry, 0 in for y, then I have that becomes 0, and I have 2x. So then I'd have 2x equals 12. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 6. So therefore, 0 equals y, x equals 6. I have 0, comma 6. So I do 1, 2, 3, um, 4, 5, 6. And then I could do the y-intercept, where x equals 0. Put 0 in for there, um, 0 in for x. Then I'd have 6y is equal to 12. y equals 2. So then I go 1, 2. So I have 0, comma 2. All right. Now, when we're solving a system, I know my graph is not really like the best in here, but you guys can see they intersect at 0, comma, uh, at, uh, zero comma 2, correct? Does that have any questions on this method? You also could have solved for y, right? If you solve for y, you would add. Um, 6y equals negative 2x plus 12 divided by 6, divided by 6. y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. Ah, oh, wait a minute. So they are exactly the same graph. Jeez, oh man. I did another one of these. Ugh. So my graphing is really bad. But what you guys should see is down 1 over 2, 3. Yes, that's correct. OK. I'm sorry, guys. What you guys notice is when I followed my slope and my intercept, they have the exact same slope. And when I actually solve this in slope-intercept form, they're actually the exact same equation. right? So actually, using the intercept method, in my case, kind of backfired for me. If you just solve for y, you can see that they're exactly the same, they're exactly the same graph. right? So what I have is the graph exactly on top of each other. OK? And we'll discover, we'll talk about that in just a second. Yes, Abby, here's a question? No. That's why I thought I picked a problem 